Welcome again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 11. Jesus was with Moses in the wilderness. Paul writes, Now I would not have you ignorant, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Did you know that when the children of Israel went through the Red Sea, that was a symbol of baptism? You know, John the Baptist didn't get the idea of baptism just out of nowhere. He just didn't pull it out of a hat or just randomly think it up. He knew about baptism through the ancient scriptures. I mean, we can trace it all the way back to, you know, at least the time of Noah, when the land was baptized in Noah's day. And also when the children of Israel went through the Red Sea, that's another symbol of baptism. And again, we're all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink. Notice here, the same spiritual food and the same spiritual drink. For they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them and the rock was Christ. Jesus existed in the days of Moses in the wilderness. You know, for those of you who know the scriptures about Jesus, Jesus existed from before the creation of the world. He is the word of God. He played a big part in the creation of everything because you see, God spoke and it was through the word of God that things were created. You know, we read over and over again throughout the scriptures that Jesus was involved intricately with creation. He was there with Adam. He was there with Enoch. He was there with Moses. In Acts chapter 7, and we read this not so long ago, Acts chapter 7, when Stephen was talking about the children of Israel in the wilderness with Moses, and he said that the ecclesia, the assembly, the church, it's the same word that's used for church in the New Testament when Jesus said, I will build my church to the church in Laodicea, to the church in Thyatira, the ecclesia, Stephen confirmed, existed in the time of Moses, the children of Israel. You know, don't think that the church of Jesus Christ started, you know, in the New Testament. You know, some people believe it started with Matthew or Mark or when Jesus said, you know, I will build my church upon this rock. That's not where it started. Jesus existed throughout the ages and so did his people. And this is just another proof of that. The church existed in the days of Moses and Jesus himself was there and followed them in the days of Moses. Moses was, and the true people of God from the children of Israel, they were all the church. They were all Christians. Jesus followed them. Christ was with them. Moses knew Jesus. Hey, when Moses showed up on the Mount of Transfiguration, he didn't say, oh, nice to meet you, Jesus. No, he knew Jesus from a long time ago, as Paul confirms here. Verse 5, however, with most of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now, these things were our examples, to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they lusted. Notice, these things being the things that are written in Scripture previous to the incarnation of the Word is our example. Just another confirmation that no, the Old Testament, the so-called Old Testament is not irrelevant today. It is very relevant. It is for us to learn from. It is for us to follow. And don't forget the church in the book of Acts and here, the believers here in the first century, they all had only the scriptures that were written before the incarnation of the word of God, before Jesus was born of Mary, to go by. Those are the scriptures they went by. They didn't have any New Testament. They preached all of their gospel message from the so-called Old Testament or Tanakh and other books, such as what we see in the Septuagint and also in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, these things were our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they lusted. Don't be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Exodus chapter 32 verse 6. There are too many people today that are just about playing, you know. 
Let's not commit sexual immorality as some of them committed. And in one day, 23,000 fell. Let's not test Christ as some of them tested. You see, way long time ago when Moses was here and walked this earth, they tested. The children of Israel tested Christ. Christ was there with them and perished by the serpents. Don't grumble as some of them also grumbled and perished by the destroyer. Now all these things happened to them by way of example, and they were written for our admonition on whom the ends of the ages have come. Paul was convinced that his day and age was the day and age on whom the end of the ages have come. And whatever you do, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will surprise you with great glory and show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.